Welcome guys, my name is Subha Malik and in this video I am going to share with you how to create these simple maze puzzles within PowerPoint with great ease. So let me show you the puzzles I have recently created so that you have a better idea of what I am talking about. So this is the easy mazes and this is its solution. Next is hard mazes and here is its solution. Then is very hard mazes and its solution. And then is insane mazes. Here is its solution. So you can create create six different types of maze puzzles within PowerPoint using a puzzle generator add-in. Here it is. It is puzzle generator add-in. You can get it from Gumroad. I will leave the link in the description below. I have already made a video on that. That was very brief and very quick. In this video, I am going to talk, talk about in detail about creating maze puzzles within PowerPoint using this puzzle generator PowerPoint add-in. So you can get it from Gumroad. Let me show you how to get it. There is a blog post below the video. It is puzzle generator PowerPoint quickly create puzzles for KDP low content books. How to get the puzzle generator? Just click on this link. This is an affiliate link. Once you click on that link, it will take you to the Gumroad. You can see here this is PowerPoint add-in puzzle generator. It will cost you 7.99 pounds per month and if you get a quarterly subscription it will cost you 19.99 which is equal to 6.66 and if you go for a longer duration the monthly subscription cost will be even lower so check out the link below this video once you download it from gumroad you will receive a zip file and i have extracted the zip file and inside the zip folder you will receive these subfolders there are some videos and license info so just click on the pc and then double click on this this is puzzle generator setup and these are the installation guides so once you have installed you will start your powerpoint you will see this puzzle generator tab toward the main menu first of all you need to have a blank slide let me create a new one we are starting from scratch we have a blank slide click on the puzzle generator here and then click on the puzzles and you can see there are different types of puzzle but in this video i am going to talk about the maze puzzles only just click on the maze here and it will show you the brief description of the game that is how to play you can you can check this box if you want to add the description or game explanation toward the beginning of your puzzle i am skipping this just continue and before continuing you need to set up the page size here is the choose trim size i am going to create the 8.5 into 11 inches and it will resize the canvas here if you want to you can add lead if you don't want to add lead then click again and it will remove you can also set the gutter size, click on this and if you want to add a gutter, that is the inside version you can set here, but I am leaving it. We have 8.5 into 11 inch document, just go to puzzle generator here, then click on the puzzles and then click on the maze and then click on continue and here you can customize your puzzles. Like you can see I have created the insane mazes and I have changed the title. So here is the first option is page path color. You can see this is the path color is red. You can also select any other color like you can select a grayish path color and it will change here and then start and end color would be the black. Next you can change the grid title. Here I have selected insane mazes. You can write easy mazes or you can write easy maze puzzle. Then you can see the font size of the the title I am leaving at 18 then is the page number it is actually the number of puzzle it will create in one go for the sake of this video I am creating just one puzzle only starting number at one then the maze level there are six different levels very easy easy intermediate hard very hard and insane so I have written easy maze puzzle so I am clicking on the easy maze uh, it will change the grid size and the minimum solution length. Next is the maze shape. I have selected as walls. You can also select as blocks. I am going with as walls. And then is the path option. This is for solution. You can select as line or as field. I have selected as field. To see it better, I am changing the path color to red. Path color would be red. And the start and end point would be black. Then is the option for start and end points. You can select randomly. Second option is top left and bottom right. Then third option is top center and bottom center. Next is the height width grids ratio. I am selecting adapt to page ratio. You can also select keep scare. Next is the add left and right margins. You can uncheck this but I want to add left and right margins. That's why I have checked this box. 
Next is the margin size. I have selected the margin size to 0.5 inches. Next is the controls for showing and hiding the maze level and maze title. Check this line to show everything. It will show the title. It will show the maze level. But I am going to hide the levels here. Hide start and end points if you want to. But I am leaving it as is. So once you are done with these customizations, you can click on the OK button and it will start creating puzzles. It will take some time and create puzzle with solution. It will create two pages like you can see slide show beginning. This is the easy maze puzzle. Here is its solution. Next, you need to add a black slide here or create a different puzzle. You need to go here and create a different puzzle. Just add slide new slide it will be a blank slide just go to puzzle generator again and puzzles maze and then click on continue here and you can change the level like i'm going to change the level to intermediate and then i'm going to change the arrows top center and bottom center here and if you want to you can change the path option to as line then click on ok it will create another puzzle it would be totally different so it will take some time we are here with our solution and our puzzle so let's check it out this was our new puzzle intermediate and here is its solution you can see I have selected the path as line so it is adding a line here so if we change it to filled path it would be different like come here and add a new slide blank slide here and then puzzle generator and go to puzzle maze puzzles and this time I am going to select a different level like I am going to select a hard maze and this time I am changing the path to filled and the walls to as blocks so click ok and it will start creating puzzle for you you can see I have changed from as was to as blocks and the maze puzzle shape and look is totally changed so it would be a different looking puzzle slide show here we go this was our this was our new puzzle here and here is its solution but it uh, doesn't look better to be so as walls is the best option i think so so let's create another one puzzle generator puzzles and maze again continue and here change the level to very hard and to as walls and the path option to fill and then click in ok and it will start creating a very hard puzzle for us the harder the puzzle is the more time it will take here is our newest puzzle what I forgot to change is the title here I should have changed the title here go to slideshow and from the current slides you can see this you should write here very hard maze here is our solution let me show the whole thing this was our first puzzle and its solution second puzzle and its solution here third puzzle and its solution here and fifth puzzle and its solution here in this way you can quickly create maze puzzles using powerpoint with the help of this puzzle generator add-on i will leave the link in the description the link is an affiliate link i will earn a commission if you purchase through my link at no extra so this was all from me today thanks for watching see you in the next video and don't forget to watch my next video it is really important and will help you as well thanks see you